show our new store for digital puzzles, which we're launching on iOS, iPhone, uh, iPod Touch, and iPad. Cool. All right, let's take a look. This is the bookshelf of our digital puzzle store. And as you can see, we've got a whole bunch of different uh, puzzle books available at launch. 29 different books by 17 different authors. And uh, it's a variety. We've got a bunch of crossword uh, books. We've got some cryptic crossword books, um, including one from uh, the United Kingdom. And we've got uh, a variety of wordplay uh, books. And then some miscellaneous ones, Manergy, which are logic puzzles, uh, a picture rebus book, and a book of mystery puzzles. We'll just jump into this particular puzzle. And, you know, it looks like a puzzle in the newspaper. It looks like a puzzle, you know, in a book. So here, uh, as I tap around in the grid, uh, the clues scroll to uh, show you uh, what's there. This, this is a slightly long clue for that entry, um, but I can also come here and I can tap on something and I can see another entry. And notice the opposite clues scroll. So as I switch clues, the other clues are showing me what the crossing words are and selecting. So I come over here, I can choose a word that's vertical word, I can scroll back and forth here, um, and as I do it, the across clues are going to scroll. So we're trying to make it as friendly as possible for you. And we know that when you're solving a puzzle like a crossword, you're constantly going back from a crossword to downwards. And so the little bit of highlighting helps you make that jump to, oh, what's the crossing word here, much faster. Okay. We've got um, what we call touch right, and it is handwriting recognition. And so the, the normal way that touch right works um, is uh, when I turn off the keyboard, touch right is turned on. And so this is a uh, um, Canadian puzzle, but fortunately this clue is Southern California University. So, so I actually know this one. I'm assuming this is UCLA. So I'll uh, just write in the letters, and I'm just writing on top of the grid. And there we go. We've got an iPod Touch, and you can use touch right on this as well? Absolutely. And in fact, on this device, it makes a difference between puzzles that are not fun to solve and a really great experience. On the iPad, I actually tend to use the keyboard most of the time, but on the iPhone, iPod Touch, uh, Touch Right just makes a huge, huge difference. You can see this, the keyboard, even though we, we, we've given you a dedicated small keyboard, still takes up a pretty large amount of the screen. And so the grid's not very big. I can zoom into the grid, and that does make things a little bit better. But uh, if we hide the keyboard, Suddenly, we've got a pretty nice grid here. It, it's, it's very readable, we can look through it, and I can go somewhere, and I actually don't know, uh, let's see, what is this? I'm not sure what this is, so I'm just gonna make up a word. I'm gonna pretend this is aloe. So you're just drawing the letters on the screen, and it's recognizing them and placing the words. That's right. Can, and I, can you do that again? Uh, sure, uh, oh, I don't know, I'll write the word big. Nice. Keep going. <laughs> okay. Well, it's kind of funny because I don't really know what any of the attention is. Yeah, that's all right. That's so here, we'll write Geek Wire here. And that's it.